Right there we have the beautiful Tammy my German Shepherd Lobo and uh, right up there is my Lycan Shepherd Puko. It's a beautiful evening in the Mississippi River Valley about uh, 6 p.m. or so Saturday. We're down here uh, enjoying the day. Come along. A lot of people out today. That is a little slick. Sandy. Hey! Globo Puko! This way. The uh, whole river valley is flooded, so we're going to follow the trail up along the high ridge. Stay kind of dry and work our way back towards Fort Snelling. Yes. You can see uh, Puko at eight months, almost nine months, is uh, bigger than Lobo now. That got me a little winded. They're very friendly. They'll lick them to death. They live with some little Yorkies, so they're used to little dogs. How you doing? Come on, Puko. Come on. You can see they're very good with other dogs. They uh, spend a lot of time socializing. This is an off-leash park, so you're gonna see a lot of people with dogs off-leash here. Okay. How you doing? Ah, come on, Puko. Puko, come here. Come on. Hey. Lobo, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now what you saw there was a training opportunity. His prey drive was stimulated by the bike riding by him the path up there. And so, instead of getting excited and yelling at him when he wanted to trace the, chase the bike, I got his attention 
And then I started walking the other direction. And that stimulated him to want to come to me. And then as he came, I crouched down and that further stimulated him to come in. And so I'm just showing you some of the process on how I get my dogs to respond like they do off leash. And uh, some of the techniques I use and how I get my dogs to follow me on these hikes like I do. So that gives you a chance to see some of that. Again, these guys aren't, aren't robots. And I think some people approach training like that, like their dog should be a robot. Uh, you know, they're free thinking animals and I like to build a strong bond with them. So they want to please me and that's why they respond to me. They don't use <coughs> Lobo peeing on his favorite rock. I don't use uh, treats or uh, threats of punishment with them. How you doing? Come on, buddy. That's kind of my philosophy behind it is, uh, you know, you want to kind of keep these training sessions positive. You want to develop a tight bond with the dog so they want to comply and please you. They're not being bribed or threatened to do so. See how flooded it is down there, Tim? Hey, how you doing? Good. Come on, we'll go. How you doing? Come on, Puko. You can see they all do very good with strangers. Uh, they don't jump on them or bother them. They just give them a sniff and move on. <laughs> yeah, it's really flooded down there. The whole area where we normally hike is underwater right now. See, there's just little little spots down there, Tim. Now, uh, for those who are wondering what these bags are, they cut some invasive buckthorn out of here last year, and they treated them with something, and they covered them up with these baggies. So, I always say that when we walk through here, so I don't get questions about it, because it's otherwise I do get questions. Oh, people, yeah, bags. people think they're waste <laughs> bags from people's dogs that somebody didn't pick up, but no, they're covering buckthorn stumps. What's up guys? Wow, look at this Tim. This whole area is underwater. Oh, there's a person there. <laughs> I was wondering why. How you doing? No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was wondering. I, yeah. I was like, ah, what, what is he whining about? <laughs> Come on. They're very good with small dogs. They live with the Yorkies. Oh, this one. <laughs> Come on, Puko. Come on. Good boy. I was wondering what they were whining about there. That's why I was looking around. <laughs> Boy. 
Uh, it's almost like looking at uh, Lobo and Kurgan running around now. Yeah. He looks so much like uh, Kurgan. A little more black. Very similar structure. I think uh, Puko though, uh, there's a chance of possibly being bigger. I think he might end up being heavier built. But uh, time will tell. Glad we got out today. We went and uh, did our uh, shopping for the dogs today, food. Man, we got an awesome deal. Uh, if you're a local and you live in the Twin Cities area, you feed your dog raw at the uh, restaurant depot. Which one is that one? Brooklyn Center. Brooklyn Center. You don't have to be a member to use it. Uh, we were able to get uh, 40 pounds of uh, raw leg quarters for uh, what 15 bucks Tim yeah yeah for a case yeah 39 cents a pound a 40 pound case it ended up being yeah ended up uh, getting like 80 pounds for 30 bucks I mean that's a that's an awesome deal for leg quarters Wow Tim look how flooded out that is down there oh yeah not attached <laughs> Come on. Good boys, come on. This way. Good boy, Puko. Yeah. Soon this will be uh, so thick and green you can't see through it. Yep. It's amazing the uh, huge transformation this area goes through uh, each season. It's uh, like a new area to hike through each season because it changes so much. We uh, walked quite a ways with the dogs on leash before we got down here. That's why they have collars on. And uh, we'll be popping them back on leash here in a little bit uh, when we move uh, up into the Fort Snelling area because those are all public trails out of the dog park. Well, yes it is. Look, over there. You can't walk through it. Well, that's pretty dark. Looks like it. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. He's just a eight month old puppy. He won't mess with your dog. We're just moving through. Are you the one that does all the balancing rocks around here? Yeah. Really? I uh, have a YouTube channel and I film them all the time. Uh, he was, might if I catch your face? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They're beautiful. I have them all documented on there. Uh, yeah, they're, some of them are really elaborate if you're the one who does some of the big ones in that. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh. really cool. Nice. I'm glad I finally got to be Kevin. <laughs> For the last uh, few years, uh, documenting it, we hiked through here all the time. So, yeah, it was my 11th year. This will be my 12th year. Too. Oh wow! Oh, wow. It started with arches. Really? And I only wanted to do arches. Have you uh, seen that uh, guy on YouTube, Gravity Group Blue? His channel. He does these huge, elaborate arches. Yeah, and, like, Michael Graff. Yep, that's him exactly. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah that. I'm, I'm so glad I got to. To, to meet the guy who does this, I mean, just because we've filmed so many of them, so yep. Very nice. that's awesome. Very Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. That was pretty cool.
It's a warlock. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, after all these years. No, <laughs> I should have. Right? Yeah. After all these years, he says he's been doing that for 11 years down here, and I've been filming and documenting them. Uh, Wow, that's really that's cool. cool. What are the chances of uh, <laughs> bumping right? into them? The Mississippi witch, or should I say, the Mississippi warlock. He's everywhere. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> that's so cool. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like a kid. Right? Smiling ear to ear. Kind of cool. He comes down with his dog, too. Yeah. Well, Puko is doing socialization wise uh, when that dog got a little gruff with him uh, he dealt with that just fine and I uh, attribute that again to uh, the pack feedings I do it puts my dogs in situations where they're used to communicating with other dogs like that and they don't get rattled in high stress situations and immediately start fighting back or rolling on their back and peeing on themselves flooded all the way up to the top of the wall there. That's crazy. Well, I don't know if you've been following this channel since the beginning. I've been filming these elaborate stone structures down here. I have a playlist on my channel called The Mississippi Witch. If you look in the playlist section. And uh, that's just kind of the name I attributed to all these weird stone uh, structures down here. And God, after six years, we finally met the guy. And I've been seeing him way longer than that. So that's just how long I've been documenting him on the channel. This whole area here is just flooded from the high water. The Mississippi is actually out there where you see the uh, white foamy water. It's like that because it just went over the lock and dam uh, just upstream. But this whole area back through here is all flooded backwater. We're off and walking through that area. Well, see Puko going to the bathroom there. I'm going to clean that up. Like, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell down below. If you liked it a lot, you'll get email notifications when my new videos come out. I'd like to thank everybody who's uh, been watching the channel, commenting, sharing. We appreciate it. Bye from my buddy, Mr. Lobo. Mr. Puko, who's uh, giving Tammy some love, so I'm Tim, the poop man. Try for a second. Can everybody see how pretty and big you are? Be a beast. Get him up on his hind legs. That's a big, that's a big eight-month-old puppy, huh? <laughs> Thank you again for supporting the channel. I'm uh, overwhelmed with the response we've gotten uh, over the years, and I've really met some great people, uh, both uh, as uh, viewers and uh, other YouTubers. Thanks for everything. Bye again. Bye, guys.